You're watching WGAL News 8. More than 1,200 students from the class of 2020 at Millersville University finally got their chance to walk across the stage to receive their degrees last night. WGAL News 8's Barbara Barr has more on how one student overcame long odds to achieve his dream. <laughs> For these Millersville graduates, they saw their 2020 commencement ceremony postponed by the pandemic. Ethan Alexander Vaughn. But for 33-year-old Ethan Vaughn, the journey to this stage could be considered miraculous. It's a great opportunity to not only cross the finish line, but also inspire other people. That you can turn your adversities into your advantage. Surround yourself with the right people. The right people include Jordan Steffi and his Atalo Foundation. But well, I'm just excited that you brought me on this journey. I've had a chance to sit front row as I've literally witnessed a miracle, right? And um, you want to talk about resilience, persistence, somebody who just will not give up. Ethan had plenty of chances to throw in the towel. After graduating from McCaskey in 2006, he worked a number of jobs. When tragedy struck, his older brother was shot and killed in Coatesville. That really hurt me and my family to the core. And it switched everything in perspective where I became the older brother. Then in March 2011, Ethan was a passenger in a car that hit a tractor trailer on Route 30. Two people, including a young child, died. Ethan was given little chance to survive. It was a long process of being in the hospital, being on legacy rehab, and being on a feeding tube for five whole months. He pulled through and with the support of Steffi and others began to thrive. Without this program, I don't know where I would be. He earned an associate's degree from Harrisburg Area Community College, then began working at Lafayette Elementary School. It's just really inspiring that some of these kids gravitate towards me. Now with his degree from Millersville in hand, he's looking forward to working in broadcasting while serving as an example of what is possible in life. In Lancaster County, Bar for Bar, WGAL News 8. Wow, oh, what an example. That's extraordinary. There's a reason why he's here. Now, his degree is in speech communications and broadcasting. And we wish him so much mm -hmm. luck and, man, just so many adversities that he came, he came over. And wow, what a story, Barbara. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going down to the boss's <laughs> office. We're going to hire that boy, don't you think? Yes. We should hire him. I'll tell you. And I, I you know, I teach at Millersville, I, and I, I think it's almost 30 years.